Hey y'all, I'm August, Carolina Trust Brand Ambassador. As you all know, April is Credit Union Youth Month, and we are continuing our tradition by doing Youth Month Virtual Story Times. We started the book on our last video, The No-Nonsense Guide to Money, an awesomely fun guide to the world of finance. Now I'm going to be reading chapter two of this same book about earning. So if you haven't watched chapter one, um, what is money? I encourage you to go check that one out first, and then we will dive into chapter two on this video, earning. So here we go. Earning. If money makes the world go round, how do you get more of it? You might find a few quarters in the couch cushions or receive a gift card for your birthday, but the surest way to get money is to earn it. People earn money in exchange for the work they do or the services they provide. Some people earn their dough by baking bread, while others sweep floors, build new buildings, or conduct an orchestra. Read on to find out how you can get in on the action. Income. Income is the money we earn from doing work, making investments, and owning things of value. Want to grow your bank account? Add income. An allowance is one type of income. You can also earn money by getting a job. You might have to create your own job or convince someone to hire you, but the good news is the more work you do, the more income you'll have. Experts recommend finding several different ways to earn money, so if one flow of money dries up, another will be there to support you. Farmers plant lots of different fruits and vegetables to be sure they will always have at least one source of income growing. You could sell food from your garden, tutor a friend, or rent out your bejeweled birthday tiara to neighbors. Or why not follow in farmer's footsteps and do all three? Earning power. Earning power is the ability people have to earn money based on their income, career path, lifestyle, and age. When you envision the future, do you imagine yourself being the boss and working long hours in an office? Or would you rather have the freedom to take leisurely lunch breaks and walk home early? Maybe you hope to own a skyscraper, or perhaps you just want to earn enough to buy a car. When you're choosing a job, it helps to know what kind of work you like to do, but it also helps to think about how much money you will need to support your dreams. Some jobs, like being a window washer, are fun to do, but they don't pay very much money. Other jobs, like being a firefighter, may not pay well in the beginning, but once you have more experience, your salary goes up quickly. That gives you the power to earn more and follow your dreams, however wildly expensive they may be. Entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is someone who takes on the risk of running a business. If you wanna earn more money, but don't wanna wait for someone to hire you, you can start your own business. Maybe you'll wash dogs, become a neighborhood bike messenger, open an art gallery in your backyard, or sell tickets to a circus with all your friends. Entrepreneurs are always coming up with new ways to make money. They do everything they can to make it happen. Sometimes it works out and they strike gold. Other times they spend more than they make, but it only takes one great idea done in the right way to make the risk worthwhile. Profit and loss. Profit is the money that remains after losses are subtracted from earnings. Lemonade stands are so last year. Selling sweets is the new way to make some dough. But will you turn a profit or lose money trying? Entrepreneurs spend a lot of time thinking about how much cost to make, how much it costs to make something, how much they can sell an item for, and what kind of profit will be left over. It might cost $100 to buy the right kind of oven and flour. If you charge $2 per donut and you sell 75 donuts, you'll earn $150 total. That means in this business, there's $50 profit with $0 lost. Invest your profits wisely and that's some sweet, sweet money. A profit and loss report breaks down how much it costs to make a product and how much money is earned selling it. Crowdfunding. Crowdfunding is the act of asking for money from a large number of people who want to help start a project. Want to get your latest get-rich-quick idea off the ground? Crowdfunding is a popular way to raise money for creative projects and new businesses. 
Websites like Kickstarter and Indiegogo help friends, fans, and other investors donate money. The process requires entrepreneurs to know how much cash they need to fund a project, figure out how they will spend the money, and find ways to reward those who invest. Crowdfunding isn't as easy as asking pretty please, but when a campaign is successful, it means you already have an audience excited about your product. And then it's up, up, and away. And that is the end of chapter number two, earning. Be sure to join us on our next video for chapter number three, saving, where we'll learn all about different ways to save. Be sure to check out our CUNA Youth Month page for more story times and financial activities.